Hi guys, welcome to the Tarot Scopes for August 2024. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. I'm going to be pulling a uh, reading for the collective. Then I'm going to pull a card of the year for Leo since we are in Leo season. Do the scope for Leo and then follow everyone else in order. All right, let's get the reading for the collective underway. Please be clear. One, two three. Ooh, we got a lot of swords energy. All right, here we go. We have the ace of wands. We have the eight of swords, and then we have the 10 of swords. So there's a lot of energy swirling around here for the collective. The ace of wands is a lot of potential, a lot of new energy, a lot of excitement, but it's also showing that there's a lot of mental battles and actually like maybe battles against other people happening. We're seeing a lot of swords energy, which is the suit of the mind. So this is sort of like a clash of beliefs that can become really dramatic and blown up. When we think about the eight of swords, it's this victim mentality like we're feeling like we're victimized by others and then creating these big overblown narratives around it. I can't help but to be thinking about the political climate right now where there's a lot of new energy and there's a lot of opinions and there's a lot of divisiveness where people are against one another. That's what's going on a little bit, at least if you're in the U.S. and you're in this election cycle. Um, and that could be what's going on on a micro level too. So I would recommend thinking about the stories you tell yourself uh, about uh, yourself about how you relate to others and not take what other people say about you as personally. We want to focus on cleaning that energy out, keeping the energy fresh and new and not dwelling on these ne negative stories. And it's also reminding me of this one phrase, I think it came from AA, if it's hysterical, it's historical. So if there's big feelings or there's like a big resistance, it's likely less to do the, with what is happening in the moment and more to do with the history of it. So that's where you can get to work on some of the root or seed sources of these aggravations and stories. All right, let's see the card of the year for Leo. Please be clear. All right, we have the Page of Wands. This means it's a fun year of play, spontaneity, creativity. It's like you're going to be getting a lot of inspirations and downloads from the universe. And it's okay not to concretize everything. It's okay to stay in the land of inspiration and ideas without having to make it mean anything more than that. I would really prioritize fun and, like I said, adventure and also sharing what you think is fun and adventurous with other people. The pages love to be the messengers. They're the go-betweens. So you might feel more chatty, more outgoing, and more fun. The only thing that I would say is watch out for um, overindulging in this sort of thing, like becoming immature. We want to make sure that you're, you're respecting this fun, spontaneous side, but also carrying a sense of maturity with you. All right, let's see the scope for Leos. Please be clear. All right. So what we see here is the nine of cups, the three of swords, and then we have the two of pentacles. So what I'm thinking here with this nine of cups and the three of swords are sort of like the antithesis of each other, where the nine of cups is feeling like your wishes are fulfilled. You're feeling very content emotionally and really happy. The three of swords is feeling betrayed and stuck and sort of like, um, like you've been stabbed in the back a little bit. And so what we're seeing here for this month is neither one of these are true. Like your wishes aren't hundred percent fulfilled. And then you're also not fully betrayed and stuck. It's showing to find a balance between the two. And that's probably where you are. So I, it's interesting because when I'm thinking about sort of the reading for the collective with the dramas and like building stories up, the same is going for you. So nothing is too super good and nothing is too super bad. Everything is sort of in the middle. And if you take things in stride with that sense of moderation, you'll be able to ride this uh, month and coast a little bit as opposed to if you don't kind of riding, bucking up and down based on whatever you're experiencing in the moment. All right, let's see what's going on with Virgo. Ooh. All right. So for Virgos, we have a mixed bag too. We have the lover's card. We have the Knight of Swords and we have this um, card, the Nine of Swords. And so what I'm seeing here is, I'm going to read this a couple of ways for Virgos. Number one, when it comes to harmony, we want you to 
prioritize your own peace. And we want you to ruthlessly pursue your inner peace. It's showing that you might be prone to anxiety in general, or at least in this month. And if you can get ahead of it, and if you can keep your psyche clear and your mind clear and prioritize your peace through whatever practices that work for you, it will go a long way. Um, to not sort of be so triggered, basically. Now, if you are thinking about this in terms of love or relationship, it's showing here that you might be inclined to pursue love and relationship with a lot of vigor, or you might actually be like a, a coming across like in that pursuit as a little bit argumentative, and you're not going to be as well received as you'd like, which then also could cause anxiety. So watch your motives, watch how you communicate, watch how you pursue love love and romantic relationships, because you might not be landing as you want. And you might also be um, more argumentative than you tend to be. And that's going to cause more harm than good. All right, let's look into the Libra folks for us. This is a telescope for Libra. One, two, three. Okay, cool. So we've got the six of wands, we have the moon card, and then we have the six of cups. So what we see here is you're going to start the month feeling really good. This is a card of high self-esteem, feeling good about yourself and kind of prancing into like midsummer feeling excellent. But then it's showing that there might be at some point some blast from the past coming through that sort of shake your psyche a little bit and start to reveal um, other ways that you might be feeling insecure, some past habits that aren't so great, but they're all coming up to clear and heal. But in the, in the moment, it feels really overwhelming and like you don't know what to do. And so the advice here, I'm going to pull another card. The advice here for you is again, I say again, because we pulled this for, uh, I think it was Leo, um, the, the two of pentacles. So the advice here is to stay balanced, to not ride the highs and lows, to look at things with a sense of moderation. And also I'm thinking for you guys, you want to move your physical body and we want to process some of these um, sort of emotions or these new findings about yourself through your body. So whether it's exercise, whether it's diet, whether it's dance, whatever you can do to transmute it through your body would be really helpful this month. All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Hmm. All right, Scorpio. So there's a few things going on here for our Scorpio friends. We have the four of pentacles, we have the justice card, and then we have the four of swords. And I'm just going to notice that there are two four cards for our Scorpio friends. And four is usually a card of a number of stability. If you think of it like a table with four legs or a car with four wheels, there's a, a way to find stability. And what we're trying to find here is this with this justice card, this balance in your quest for stability. We need physical stability. So we want to feel safe in our homes and our bodies and our workplaces. And it's also showing mental stability. And I believe that the mental stability is found through the physical stability. So it's a great month to start to have habits and routines that fortify your mental health and well-being and to stick to those with a sense of discipline and devotion to yourself. And because I'm seeing four, I would pick four different things that you will do as a non-negotiable every day. One should be physical, one should be mental, one should be spiritual. And then maybe like the fourth one's a wild card based on whatever feels good to you. And this doesn't have to be a lot. It could be, you know, four small things, but we want you to do them every single day to create that consistency and the stability. It'll work wonders for your mental health. All right. We have the tarot scope for Sagittarius. Please be clear. Ooh. Man, okay, so I'm pulling a lot of Nine of Swords here. So there might be an undercurrent of um, anxiety this month for folks. So I just want to throw that out there that if that's what you're starting to feel, don't worry about it. It's normal and it seems like something that's a shared experience. Okay, for Sagittarius, we pulled the World card. Like I mentioned, the Nine of Swords. 
and then the, um, I'm sorry, the seven of wands. So what I'm seeing here for you guys with this world card is there is a natural completion and ending happening for you in many areas of your life, but at least one specific area, if not more. And although this is a necessary ending and it should feel like a time of completion and relaxation where you should be able to lay in, like lean back and say, wow, look what I created. Instead, it's sort of like you're fighting the ending and it's causing a sense of anxiety because there's an assumption that the future is going to be worse than the past that's completing. And so you're sort of like, there's resistance, you're resisting this, the sense of completion. And what I'm here to tell you is, that's a false, that's a fallacy, that's a falsehood, your future is just going to grow and expand from here, you're Sagittarius, it's a planet Jupiter, it's good luck, good fortune, expansion. So if you can sort of surrender and appreciate that the natural conclusions, and the organic endings, you'll feel a lot better and, and kind of sort of smoothly transition into the new thing, instead of going into the new thing, kicking and screaming. All right, let's see what the telescopes have to say for Capricorn. Please be clear. One, two, three. Okay, Capricorn. We've got a lot of competing energies here for you too. We've got the King of Swords. We have the Six of Cups, which I've pulled several times already in this tarot scope session, and this Two of Cups. So I'm seeing a couple of things here. Um, you're inclined this month to be all like, um, all business and strategic and have this long-term vision. And, and you might even come across inadvertently a little bit cold or stubborn or stuck. And like, like you're really in your head and, you know, we love it that you're smart and that you're strategic and those are good qualities. But what we're seeing here is it's really the month to invest in relationships. We want you to invest in these relationships that are pre-existing, like these long, long-term relationships, family, cousins, you know, best friends, friends from high school, college, whatever. It's really important to reconnect with those relationships if they have dwindled. And it's also really important to meet new people. And you might meet new people through reconnecting with the old people. But, <clears throat> excuse me, the advice here is to stay in your heart, to not overly lean into your mental capacity and kind of take a break a little bit and prioritize friends and family, both old and new. All right, let's see what the telescope says for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. This looks like a really fun month for you guys. We have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and then the Fool card. I would say this is a month for play, travel, adventure, and taking some risks and taking some major leaps. It's also, you might find yourself like starting a whole new cycle for yourself and, and it might feel a little daunting because anything is possible and you're not exactly sure how this is all going to play out, but the things are moving quickly and in your favor. So what I need you to do is sort of trust. This is a month of like taking these leaps of faith and trusting if the wind is at your sail and it's pushing you in one direction, that's the way to go. We want you to maintain a sense of positive self-esteem. We want to maintain a sense of um, you're showing up this month as feeling extra sensitive. So we want you to like not move so fast that you're sort of bypassing your emotions. So feel your feels, but like allow yourself to play, have fun, adventure, because whatever is around the corner for you is going to feel new and exciting. And we want you to kind of take advantage of this momentum and this, um, yeah, go with the flow kind of energy. All right, Pisces, this is a telescope for you. One, oh, I'm pulling similar cards as I did to Aquarius. One, two, three. Okay, Pisces, here we go. There's a lot of good momentum for you too. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Five of Wands. So again, with this Eight of Wands, it's a card of moving, sudden changes, travel, all of those sorts of things. So you might, things are might start to pick up and move and you might feel compelled to move or make big changes. With this Wheel of Fortune, it's showing a lot of positive opportunities coming your way to quickly expand and grow and seek and just have a lot more um, synchronicity and magic happening to you or 
for you or with you or through you, however you want to look at that. So this is a great month to surrender and allow this co-creative energy to take place with the universe and participate in the opportunities. And as those doors open, your practice is to say yes and kind of walk through those doors. Now, it's showing that There's like this belief system about competition or a belief system about like how things have to be paced out. You are above those rules. If something is meant for you, it's coming for you this month and you can say yes. And even if it would take someone else a year to do it, or you're like, oh, there's like not a market for it because, um, you know, there's too much competition or whatever. We need to eliminate those beliefs. We need to get you in the miracle mindset that, you know, miracles are happening for you and anything is possible for you. All right, Aries. Let's see what we've got going on for our Aries friends. One. Ooh. All right, Aries. There's a lot of new energy for you. So there's a few things to keep in mind here. Number one, we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's a new energy. We've got the Three of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Swords. So a couple of things here. It's a great time to think about what you want to build and what new seeds you want to plant. This could be work. This could be home. This could be just like physical things that you want to tangibly plant these seeds and grow. It could literally be a garden. But we want these to be aligned with your vision. We don't want this to be a vision that is too impacted by outside influences, especially because we're seeing with the seven of swords, there could be people around you that might be intentionally or unintentionally sort of manipulating you or wanting to push you one way or the other. And this is the month to more clearly define what you want. And we don't want to make concessions just yet as you're formulating this vision. This is 100% you on you. And if you're feeling like someone else's influence is not positive or someone's trying to kind of pull one over on you, trust that instinct and just recommit that like you have the clarity, you know what's best, and you're going to follow through with your plan as you see it. All right, next we have the tarot scope for Taurus. Let's see what's going on here. Please be clear. One, two... Three. Okay, Taurus, we've got some interesting, an interesting story here. So right now, my first instinct is like, this all seems very separate. So as I talk it through, I'm excited to see how it all comes together. We have the page of wands, we have the five of cups, and we have the four of pentacles. So a couple of things here is I feel like um, there's like this little kid version of you, like this inner child version of you that used to be or was like very spontaneous and adventurous and um, excited and fun and playful that had this idea for what they wanted to build in the future. And there's a little bit of reconciling between like what this like pure aspect of you wanted out of life or thought life would be versus the reality. And there has to be a little bit of mourning about the growing up process and sort of seeing how the reality doesn't didn't match the dream. And because the reality didn't match the dream, it feels like around your physical reality or work, you're sort of shutting down and making your life smaller. You're like, okay, what can I control? Like, how can I make sure this doesn't happen again? And it feels like to me, that's actually limiting sort of your, your world and your universe. So my advice to you would be going back to that page of wands, going back to that creative self that had hopes and dreams and aspirations and saying, how can we work together now to build the next 10 years or five years or 50 years that feels like that it is, it's inspiring, that feels like it is um, invigorating instead of just being sad that it didn't work out and making your universe or your world smaller and saying, well, this is what we've got to work with now. Uh, I guess this is what life has to give. And it's like, no, there's, there's more. It's not over yet. All right. This is the tarot scope for Gemini. Please be clear. (laughs) Wow. Lots of cups energy so far for Gemini. Okay. Okay. So we've got the Eight of Cups, we have the Seven of Cups, and then we have this Hierophant card. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of stuck emotional energy and a lot of emotional projection, like seeing through the lens of emotions and maybe not seeing things clearly. And there's there's some baggage that needs to be dropped this month so that you can actually move forward in a way that's unencumbered by the past. 
first. And because it seems like there's some stuff being taken with you. And as you are looking through this lens of like how you're surveying your reality, it's showing that it's an overly emotional lens and it's sort of warping how it is that you see what is going on. And I said, I think I said this in the collective reading, if it's hysterical, it's historical. So if you're having big feelings and you're projecting these big feelings onto the current reality, it means that there's some stuff from the past that's sort of being used as the filter in which you're viewing things. The answer for you is ritual, is discipline, is coming up with systems and structures to move through this energy. When I see this here, it, it and next to this emotional energy, to me, it's like your ritual practice, altar work, magic work, meditation, yoga, finding systems and structures that you have used and lean on before to help you push through this period of time. All right, last but not least, we're going to see what's going on for the cancer people. All right, tarot scopes for cancer is as follows. One, two, Three. Okay, it seems like the cancers are coming out of cancer season. Looking great. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Ten of Cups, and we have the Four of Swords. You guys had a great summer so far. It seems. I mean, it shows you're really stepping into your own sense of power and energy. It's showing that your spiritual practice is on point. Like the ways in which you are managing the energies in your life are on point. Um, it's showing that you have a lot of reciprocal relationships that feel really good and abundant and fulfilling. And it's also showing like peak mental health and mental performance and just feeling a sense of peace within yourself. So I don't really have any advice. I wish that these were the cards I was pulling for all the Zodiac this um, this month. Just keep doing what you're doing, like connecting with people. It's like if you're feeling anxious, it's showing here, meditate. If you're feeling depressed, it's saying here, community, like find people. If you're feeling stuck, it's showing using like magic or whatever you know how to do to like move energy and shift mindset. But it seems like you're doing all of those things and the mind, body, spirit aspects of your life are doing great. So congratulations to everyone um, who's a cancer. I uh, thank you guys so much for listening to this Terrascope. I also recommend if you'd like to listen back to July and see how that resonated for you. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the fall. All right.